guys, it's me, The Natural Home, your how-to resource for natural hair. And today I want to talk about something that you may have never thought about or you may not even be aware of when it comes to a hair product. I'm not talking about a shampoo, a conditioner, but a styling tool. But before I jump into this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you will know when I upload new videos. So, what am I talking about? Well, I'm gonna tell you what I'm talking about. I am talking about the dimming brush. So, you're probably like Nicole. Okay, we all know about a dimming brush, but I'm gonna tell you something. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, in my IG stories, if you're not, you should because I always say, guys, I got something to tell y'all, okay? So I'm coming to you, I got something to tell you about the Dimmon brush. So a few weeks ago, someone tagged me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will leave a picture up here somewhere. And um, she said, Nicole, look at my brush. I need to know, do I have a real Dimmon brush or do I have a fake Dimmon brush? And the reason why she was asking me that is because the base of her brush was ripped. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This, this red part, this base of her brush, it was torn. And I reached out to her and I said, hey, send me a video, send me a close up of the brush so I can see whether it's a knockoff or if it's a real demon. So she sent me a video Guys, as soon as she started playing the video, I was like, I got to tell her, you don't have a real dimming brush. You have a fake dimming brush. So I know you guys are like, Nicole, how do I know when my dimming brush is fake? I'll tell you. If your dimming brush is real, it's going to say dimming on the back of the brush. And guess what? This um, like gold layering here, it's going to eventually fade. But even when it fades, you're still going to see the name Dimmit imprinted on the back of the brush. Another way you can tell that if you have a real authentic Dimmit brush or a fake Dimmit brush is the handle. And I don't know if you guys can see that, uh, but on the handle of the brush here, it will say Dimmit, okay? And also... Right here on the ends, on the very top of the brush, you have two Ds with a crown that says Dimmon. And you also will have this right here. It says Made in Italy. Not, I'm sorry, not Made in Italy, but Made in the UK. First of all, none of the brushes are made in the UK. I mean, in the USA. Sorry about that. All these brushes are made in the UK, okay? So you have one, two, three, four, and it says made in the UK. That's how you know if you have a real Demon brush. Number two, I've never seen a Demon brush in a beauty supply store. That's where you find a lot of your knockoff Demon brushes. Now, keep in mind that you will see... Um, some dimming brushes with a white handle. Yes, they may have a white handle, but you still know if it's a true dimming brush because you can tell by the imprints on it. And this brush is heavier than the brush that you get from the beauty supply store. The only place I've seen this brush is in Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I don't even know if I've ever seen it in Walmart or Target. I'm not sure, but I do know this brush is sold and Sally's um, Beauty Supply for sure. If you can't find it there, um, you can most definitely go onto the Demon website. And like I say, I may be bringing back these brushes and selling them myself because so many people are always asking me for this brush. But until then, I just wanted to um, let you guys know that check your brush. Check for all the logos to know if you have a fake or if you have a real dimming brush. Guys, once again, if you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends. If you have a curl friend or you know someone who's going natural and they're looking for a dimming brush, 
go ahead and show them this video because they need to know if they are going to have, if they need to know, sorry, when they go to the store to select um, the right dimmer brush in a real dimmer brush because, I, like I said, I've never seen this brush in any beauty supply store. So be sure to share this and let people know, hey, do you have a real dimmer brush or do you have a fake dimmer brush? And also, I'm going to leave the link below and somewhere up here because if you do have a dimmer brush, I have another video where I show you how to clean this brush because you may not know, but this brush does come apart. So you can clean it, get all that product build, build up out of there, out of the bristles, and have a clean, fresh brush to style your hair. So I'll be sure once again to leave that link in the description. And guys, until next time, this is The Natural Cold, your how-to resource for natural hair.